Right now, the models are giving us different pictures for the next four weeks. The JMA and the ECMWF just don't agree this time. This means we're looking at significant uncertainty in the forecast ahead. I'll break down what each model is thinking and I'll give you my honest picture of what I actually know. So let's dive into the next four weeks when the models disagree like this. It's important I explain both points of view. So we can see the range of possibilities. 8th of January to the 12th. JMA is on the left, ECMWF is on the right. Both models are showing low pressure over the UK, but the JMA believe low pressure is over Europe, where the ECMWF believe high pressure is over Europe. So we've got disagreement there between the two models. The only thing to come out of this is we got above average rainfall for both models. No comparison at all on the temperatures. If you do like the mixture of content I bring, the long range and the short range forecast, and you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it. You hitting that subscribe button, then you won't miss any of the content I bring to you. Week 2, the 19th of January to the 26th. Both models are showing low pressure over the UK and stretching westwards over the Atlantic some agreement with the location of the high pressure but both models are bringing above average rainfall the jma is going for below average temperatures where the ecmwf is going for above average temperatures so not a lot of agreement really between the two models and the final period which is taking us up to the 9th of february JMA on the left is showing low pressure over the UK with high pressure over Greenland and Scandinavia. And the ECMWF has got slack air pressure over the UK with slack air pressure over Scandinavia. So we've got disagreement again there and just no comparisons on what they believe. JMA are going for above average rainfall, where the ECMWF are going for a drier period. So you can see there's a lot of uncertainties there from the model, which is most unusual because both these models normally give very good comparisons on the four-week outlook. So this gives us the idea I've got to keep the weather forecasts to round about five days until things begin to settle down a bit. If you've enjoyed this, do give me a great big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I would love to hear from you, so please do comment below. Till we meet again, look after yourselves and those you love. BFN, bye for now.